hair loss and usually the patients do not look any treatment for that because okay. they think it's natural it's genetic and there is no going back from this okay but sometimes there there might be more reasons some other reasons than male pattern hair loss okay so when we assess the patient we use all the techniques the photo finder device our experience by our ultrasound device okay so it's a very comprehensive examination okay because you know this is a medical operation even if it's a you know cosmetic procedure yeah. there are some no-nos there are also some no-nos with this operation and our duty is to diagnose the patient correctly inform them about the possible solutions and make an operation plan together okay and since we employ the new techniques and the technologies and our patients can see the results like they are very satisfied with the results i believe all of them contribute to our success and our you know fame okay um when you just mentioned that genetics what mm -hmm. other reasons if genetics is not a reason what might be the other reasons like stress or i don't know mm -hmm. what's my excuse with the male pattern hair okay. loss yes it is mostly genetic okay but usually patients uh, consider all type of hair loss male pattern hair okay loss. okay but it is not the case okay that's why we always check the scalp with the photo finder device so we can uh, get to the root of the cause okay and in terms of the growing market from the UK, I mean, I'm Ireland, but mm -hmm. the UK and Ireland are like similar demographics. Mm -hmm. So how is that market, I, like after COVID, are you mm -hmm. seeing huge increases or? So after COVID, yes, during COVID, the patient count was not that high because of okay. all the restrictions, travel restrictions. Yeah. But after the restrictions, you know, were lifted, our patient count started to increase. Okay. And most of our patients come from Europe, mostly from UK and the Ireland. And it seems like the patient count like will rise and rise from okay. now on. Um, because I just see myself that in the last year, even mm -hmm. on social media, so many people are seem to be getting it, a hair transplant. Yeah. But are you seeing a are you seeing a, a gradual or is it a dramatic increase or just steady? Uh, it's a dramatic increase. Okay. It's almost like hyperbolic increase. Okay. Oh really? Honest. Wow. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cause... Interesting. Okay. And um, in terms of, I guess the main worry is that if someone after care, mm -hmm. so like in terms of what kind of support is given to customers or clients when they're after the surgery and if they're back in Ireland or back in the UK. Mm -hmm. So there are some medical necessities, of okay. course. So after the procedure, we for sure provide our patients with antibiotic tablets, okay. prednisone, which is an anti-swelling medication and painkillers, which are anti-inflammatories. Besides those, depending on the cause, we also we may suggest our patients to take some supplements or take some medications. Okay. For example, if we think that the cause is male pattern hair loss, a medication called finasteride would be very helpful, along with multivitamins. Okay. And the minoxidil also a popular choice, either topical or oral minoxidil. Okay, I'll check the spelling. Uh -huh. No worries. Okay. I mean, minoxidil is a topical solution. It increases the blood flow to the scalp. Okay. And it was primarily uh, used for high blood pressure to be honest. Okay. Then we realized that it also caused like thin hairs to grow. Mm -hmm. That's why it's employed mostly uh, on the hair loss okay. diseases now. And usually. There is topical solution and oral tablet for it. Okay. And we might suggest either one of these forms. Okay. Is there anything else you wanted to highlight about the whole procedure or how great the place is? Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you wanted to mention or to encourage people to come? Mm -hmm. So, uh, probably after seeing our clinic, after the procedure, uh, you would have a very upside. Positive? Yeah, positive yeah. <laughs> impressions about yeah. our clinic because we've been working this for a long time now and our patients usually are surprised when they see how organized we are because mm -hmm. this operation has a couple of steps and this is a teamwork. Okay. And the most important thing with our clinic is we employ Dr. Sear. Okay. 
So doctors supervise the operations from their beginning to the end and they do the, they perform the incision part. Okay. Which has the greatest impact on the result. Right, okay. And our you know, our patients are mostly foreign patients. Mm -hmm. And it is normal for them to feel a bit unsafe when they, you know, get a procedure okay. in a foreign country. And that's why we always have translators. We are pretty equipped for everything. Mm -hmm. We have an ER room and we also have an anesthesiologist. Oh wow, okay. So in terms of yeah, medical staff, yes, we are pretty prepared. And when it comes to patient satisfaction, since we are pretty experienced about you know, behavior transplant, we can modify, we can understand the patient's expectations and offer them a reasonable solution. Okay. Because there are no one solution for all.